Chapter 25 Now Abraham married again. Keturah was his new wife, and she bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan's two sons were Sheba and Dedan. Dedan's descendants were the Asherites, Letushites, and Leumites. Midian's sons were Ephah, Epher, Hanuf, Abida, and Eldah. These were all descendants of Abraham through Keturah. Abraham left everything he owned to his son Isaac, but before he died he gave gifts to the sons of his concubines and sent them off to the east away from Isaac. Abraham lived for 175 years, and he died at a ripe old age, joining his ancestors in death. His sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah near Mamre in the field of Ephron, son of Zohar the Hittite. This was the field Abraham had purchased from the Hittites, where he had buried his wife Sarah. After Abraham's death, God poured out rich blessings on Isaac, who settled near Beer Lahairoi in the Negev. This is the history of the descendants of Ishmael, the son of Abraham, through Hagar, Sarah's Egyptian servant. Here is a list by their names and clans of Ishmael's descendants. The oldest was Nebaioth, followed by Kedar, Abdil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jeter, Nafish, and Kedema. These twelve sons of Ishmael became the founders of twelve tribes that bore their names, listed according to the places they settled and camped. Ishmael finally died at the age of 137 and joined his ancestors in death. Ishmael's descendants were scattered across the country from Havilah to Shur, which is east of Egypt in the direction of Ashur. The clans descended from Ishmael camped close to one another. This is the history of the family of Isaac, the son of Abraham. When Isaac was forty years old, he married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel the Aramean, from Padan Aram, and the sister of Laban. Isaac pleaded with the Lord to give Rebekah a child because she was childless. So the Lord answered Isaac's prayer, and his wife became pregnant with twins. But the two children struggled with each other in her womb. So she went to ask the Lord about it. Why is this happening to me? she asked. And the Lord told her, The sons in your womb will become two rival nations. One nation will be stronger than the other. The descendants of your older son will serve the descendants of your younger son. And when the time came, the twins were born. The first was very red at birth. He was covered with so much hair that one would think he was wearing a piece of clothing. So they called him Esau. Then the other twin was born with his hand grasping Esau's heel. So they called him Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when the twins were born. As the boys grew up, Esau became a skillful hunter, a man of the open fields, while Jacob was the kind of person who liked to stay at home. Isaac loved Esau in particular because of the wild game he brought home, but Rebekah favored Jacob. One day when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau arrived home exhausted and hungry from a hunt. Esau said to Jacob, I'm starved. Give me some of that red stew you've made. This was how Esau got his other name, Edom, red. Jacob replied, All right, but trade me your birthright for it. Look, I'm dying of starvation, said Esau. What good is my birthright to me now? So Jacob insisted, Well then, swear to me right now that it is mine. So Esau swore an oath, thereby selling all his rights as the firstborn to his younger brother. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and lentil stew. Esau ate and drank and went on about his business, indifferent to the fact that he had given up his birthright. 